In my clinical role, the, the term scholar means to me keeping up to date, um, continuing to read professional journals and articles, working on audits and quality improvement projects, and also teaching others. I think it's essential for doctors to be scholars, you know, both to keep our own skills up to date, but also to pass our knowledge on to others. Being a scholar is always important to improve the patient care which you provide as a doctor because uh, once you are a scholar, then only you know about the latest of the happenings around you in the world of advancements. In my role, the main barrier would be time related and it sometimes can be difficult to balance your clinical workload um, with your academic time. Availability of resources such as information technology can be a bit of an issue mm -hmm. um, when working in clinical practice on site and being able to access information adequately and pass that on. But I suppose that again is infrastructure that we're working on. One of the projects that I'm working on is uh, simulation and that's um, sort of been shown to be one of the best teaching methods and we've been able to do that more in situ on the ward over a short period of time so I think that may be one of the ways forward to try and address some of the time issues as well. In the recent time the demand has increased so much you know one way is the financial pressures from the government you need more output from the service than if you want to sort of act as a scholar also then you need time for that. I've definitely benefit, benefited from having a good mentor, in fact several mentors in my career so far. Um, to me a good mentor is somebody that you have a good relationship with, someone who you trust, who you look up to, um, somebody who will tell you when you're wrong but in a kind and appropriate manner um, and somewhere, someone who you aspire to be. Personally one of my main mentors was someone who was in a, a GP in another practice um, and we basically have in a mutual way have used that over almost a career and I find that uh, very helpful because at times you just need you need a sounding board and it's not always possible to do that in your own practice because sometimes the issues can be in your own and likewise if it was regard to a specialty so I think the I think the use of mentors is very very important if you have a mentor that means you go ahead and if you have a mentor it's your responsibility to become a mentor for others